everyone, and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in these videos, we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, I just wanted to put most of the shipping and fulfillment news in this section. So, for Solomon Kane, Meeple Logistics, Quartermaster Logistics, and Spiral Galaxy all report that shipments are underway, with VR Distribution reporting that they're expecting their container to hit port on February 16th. For Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2, Meeple Logistics expects their final containers to arrive on February 14th. VR Distribution's product is on the same container as Solomon Kane and is expected to arrive on February 16th. Spiral Galaxy expects their container to hit port on February 16th as well, and Quartermaster Logistics expects their final container to hit port on February 18th. Now, my apologies for not having the Darkest Dungeon finale edited by last Saturday as I intended. Last week just got away from me. I have already imported all the footage into my editing software and will have it ready sometimes this week at the latest by Saturday. After last week's deluge of news, we don't have a whole lot to share this week, but we do have some catch-up for our Time of Legends Joan of Arc and Monster Apocalypse backers, so let's get to it. For Joan of Arc today, Spiral Galaxy in the UK have told us that the last group of pledges left the hub yesterday. Furthermore, we are working daily to get the issues with Fullix rectified for our US backers. We know that this is a major inconvenience for our U.S. backers, but please bear with us as the changes we're having to make midstream, basically, really are for the better. Now, we also wanted to begin sharing with you some digital copies of things that we have been working to write since the first issues of the 1.5 fulfillment began surfacing. The first one is the new solo scenario, Hell Unleashed. You're given the responsibility of defending Mont St. Michael as the devil himself seeks to desecrate the island and harvest the souls found there. Will you be able to withstand the onslaught with the help of Archangel Gabriel? Play it and find out. Next are the revised player aids for 1.5 to replace the ones you received in your shipments. Third is the revised errata for 1.5 to include things that were updated during the holiday season. This version is much more robust and addresses many of the issues in a graphically designed format. The Teutonic Knights expansion, however, is still under evaluation and we will be coming back to you all on it as soon as we possibly can. Finally, for now that is, we are currently working on the content list that so many of you have been requesting and will be included in our next round of digital releases coming soon. For Monster Apocalypse, we didn't get news early enough last week to include it on newscasts, but we did have some news that got shared on the Kickstarter page for our What's Up Wednesday update. So I want to include that here to kind of get our newscast viewers up to speed. For a quick recap of the current project situation, work on the rulebook continues with an intense and upcoming photo session during which we'll endeavor to photograph all the examples of play required with our studio painted miniatures. Once this is done and we have samples to share, we most definitely will. The stat card redesign has generated a lot of positive feedback and we look forward to showing you the next iteration of that design. Concerning the pre-paint ink wash question some of you have raised, we're still awaiting estimates from our manufacturer. We know that there are a few of you waiting on this option to be available in the pledge manager, so rest assured that we will let you know if and when we can add it. Finally, we are still researching the feasibility of including the alt scopes into the hardcore unit boxes. We must check the mold matrix plan to ensure that it is feasible creating excess castings that we can't use and then check and see what the overall cost implications are. So this is still very much an ongoing research project for us. Now Monpoc is a bi-weekly rotation for updates right now so since this information was initially shared last week we'll have another update coming next week too. 
Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So go ahead and tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show because frankly you never know what Leo's going to do when he's showing stuff off. As mentioned earlier, I'll be back to normal this week for my other two videos, so be on the lookout for those on Thursday and Friday. But that's it for today, though, so once again, stay safe and play some games while you're at it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.